310 builds on significant changes to signature and stealth gameplay that finally became relevant in 3.9. This video will fully explain the updates in 310 and everything you need to know about stealth from a mission-focused perspective in the current game. Hey everyone, this is Jub from Legacy Fleet. With signature and stealth mechanics, instead of getting hung up on the various stats, it's important for a pilot to stay focused on determining the distance within which an enemy will be able to detect them, and vice versa, and then altering the distance to suit his or her mission objectives. There are currently three factors that affect detection range, IR, EM, and radar type. IR and EM are emission stats that are easily viewable and controllable by the pilot. Radar is going to depend on your enemy, and you may or may not know what type of radar you are facing. Many radars in the game work similarly. From all of Legacy Fleet's testing, we've only been able to find differences between size 0, size 1, and size 2 radars. No ships seem to have size 3 radars, and specialized ships like the Hornet Tracker and the Terrapin do not currently have special radars. The formulas to determine detection range using the three factors we mentioned are as follows. For size 0 radars, which are found on snub vehicles, take the maximum of the IR and EM values and multiply by 0.25 to determine the detection range. For size 1 radars, which are found on most light fighters, medium fighters, and starter ships, take the maximum from the IR and EM values and multiply by 0.5 to determine the detection range. For size 2 radars, which are found on everything from a Vanguard to a Hammerhead, Take the maximum of the IR and EM values and multiply by 0.75 to determine detection range. We have performed dozens of trials with various ships, component loadouts, power states, and detection platforms, and have confirmed that these formulas are accurate in 3.10. Since, as a pilot, you cannot control what radar your opponent is using, normally you'll want to figure out how to get your IR and EM signatures as low as possible. Many online calculators can determine IR and EM for ship loadouts with varying levels of accuracy. Any ship can make sacrifices to reduce their signature and become harder to detect, but in 310, hull modifiers make this much easier for specially designed ships. The ships listed here now have multipliers that take the IR and EM normally generated by their components and reduce them. These multipliers have been confirmed to be working via our testing. Remember that lower is better because lower IR and EM values will result in a shorter detection range. If we want to take an example, a stock Eclipse would previously generate 1367 IR and 6000 EM, which, per the formula, would result in about a 3 km detection range. Now, since it has a hull modifier of 0.7, it generates 957 IR and 4280 EM, resulting in a 2.1 km detection range. So, to manage your signature, you'll want to consider both ship type and what components you equip before even taking off. Then, in flight, there's also the option to reduce signature by turning components off or manipulating other power settings. You can also suppress IR using this MFD button, and as far as we can tell during testing, there's no downside in doing this. Remember that only the maximum of the two values, IR and EM, will affect detection range. So don't make sacrifices to your loadout or turn off equipment if it won't help reduce whichever the maximum value is. Finally, there's one more caveat. When starting a ship in the Persistent Universe, IR will start much higher than its base value and slowly diminish over about 25 minutes. During that time, even if you have to use Afterburner or increase heat in some other way, it will always return to that lower ticking value, settling at the new baseline after the time has passed. The difference this can make can be as high as 1000 meters in detection range. So, if you're about to attempt a mission where you absolutely must avoid detection, allowing your ship to cool beforehand may be a good choice. We hope to continue making these short 310 focused videos to help players get up to speed on the changes. As always, feel free to contact us via YouTube comments or on our Discord with any questions or additional tips you might have. That wraps it up for me, I'll see you all in the verse.